Have you ever been dying for a cold snack? Have you ever sweated through your shirt? Have you ever just been flat out in the mood for some ice cream? I know I have, but there's nowhere to buy it, at least not in El Dorado County. I am here to offer a solution. Sugar Rush Ice Cream is a, way, is a place to get affordable and delicious ice cream in the summer months and in the colder parts of the year. A little bit about us, we are actually an ice cream truck or more so a trailer that is located and towed on the back of a truck. We are stationed out of Lotus, California, uh, but we do go to places all over El Dorado County, which is where uh, Lotus, California happens to be. Uh, we remain in Lotus throughout the hotter months, and then um, in the other parts of the year, we venture into different uh, places of the county. Uh, these notable locations include South Lake Tahoe, which is one of the biggest tourist destinations in all of northern uh, California, El Dorado Hills, which is probably one of the wealthiest places in El Dorado County, and Placerville, uh, that has a much, very much, a lot of rich history as well. Uh, just a little bit about what we offer. We offer waffle cones, cake cones. You can get your ice cream in a cup. Uh, you can get it as a single scoop, a double scoop, a triple scoop. Uh, for the cake cones, only, it only comes in one scoop. That's kind of like our, uh, kind of like our kids, uh, kids' choice right there. Um, and then obviously the amount of scoops that you get will also uh, dictate your price. Uh, some notable specials that we run, uh, given that the fact that we are stationed in Lotus, California, which is right on the American River, right by the uh, middle fork of the American River where James W. Marshall first discovered gold in California and sparked the gold rush of California, uh, hence the name Sugar Rush Ice Cream. See what we did there? Um, I do, we do offer some specials. There is the Gold Rush. It is vanilla ice cream and laced with, with a fudge swirl. Um, white, the White Water, which is a vanilla and blue raspberry swirl. Uh, the Troublemaker, that's actually a class 3 rapid along, along the river. Lots, this is a really high um, destination for white water rafting. Uh, and there is a rapid known as the Troublemaker. It's class 3 rapid. It goes all the way up to 5. Um, that's a chocolate kind of fudge brownie type of ice cream. And then, uh, we are located right off of Highway uh, 49, Interstate 49, uh, so that's a special that I decided to include. It's kind of like a family meal. I don't really want to say meal since we are serving ice cream, but it, uh, that's nine scoops of whatever flavor you want and four scoops of whatever other flavor you want, and that's going to be $50. Um, so a great reason, or one big reason that Lotus, California is a great place to sell ice cream is how hot it gets in the summer. Uh, I have a few, over the past couple years, this happens to show 2019, this is June of 2019, temperature peaked uh, right about over 100, 100 degrees right there. Let's take a look at what, in 2020, same sort of deal, we're at about 100 degrees, over 100 degrees in the, near the end of June. 2021, uh, about 110 degrees. In 2022, same deal, we're getting up to about 110 degrees. And then if we look at, so that was June, if we look at July 2019, we're over 100 as well. July 16th kind of seems to be, well, maybe not in the year 2020 here, but July 16th uh, through this, so through the 16th to about this 25th range seems to be a really hot time of the year uh, for us here in Lotus, California. If we look at our 2021 report, uh, beginning here, July 10th, we're coming over, uh, we're at 110 degrees. And we're stooping down to a cool 100 degrees, if you can uh, try to pretend that that's in any way sort of a cold temperature. Uh, here's July as well, 2022. This was last year. And then I also included what our temperatures look like from the beginning of December to the end of December here. As you can kind of see, it kind of mellows out. Uh, well, I mean, I want to say mellows out, but we end up in the 90s here near the end of September, but we're still... In 100 plus last year, we were almost at like 117 degrees at the beginning of September. And the reason that I included that is because September is kind of a time uh, during the rafting season and the tourist season for us here where we get a lot of uh, more people because it's the end of the season and everyone's kind of realized that they didn't go rafting or go up to um, up in Lotus this summer. So all of a sudden we get this huge rush of people and then it just dies uh, going into the colder months. Um, alongside the fact that there's really, really large uh, temperatures here in Lotus, California, with resorts, eateries, and um, whitewater rafting companies moving into town, that's also increasing the amount of tourists and people residing within Lotus, California. Uh, because of this, one might be able to assume that as the population increases, the amount of ice cream that we can expect to sell 
uh, compared to last year to, the, to this year is going to be significantly larger. These are some of my uh, these are some of my forecasts. This is the cumulative mean formula. Cumulative mean formula is pretty much is pretty similar to averaging uh, to an average, taking the uh, the amount, adding them together, and then dividing by the amount of numbers that you added together. This next graph includes the uh, moving average formula, uh, which is pretty similar to the cumulative mean formula, except you're moving. I know, shocking, right? So instead of taking the um, average of all these numbers, we're actually going to take the average of just a select few numbers that are located within close proximity to each other. So instead of doing uh, 2,780 plus 3,290 divided by 2 to get our average, or actually, in a way, that would actually be right since we're pretty close together. But once I get down here near the bottom, I'm not going to go all the way up and include 10 numbers, if that makes sense. There's a certain amount of numbers that I'll include in my average, which kind of makes a lot of sense because obviously the amount of ice cream that I'm selling in June isn't going to be very similar to the amount of ice cream that I'm selling in February. So including that value is actually kind of detrimental to the prediction, at least in my opinion. And as I was saying, the, uh, with the people, the amount of people in Lotus, California increasing and the tourists coming as well, uh, these numbers are expected to only get larger. So keeping this, in, while keeping this in mind, I drafted my forecast. I put my forecast up here, pretty similar. Uh, January, I left exactly the same as the previous year because of the fact that um, it's, the first of, it's the first of the year and we don't really know too much of what to expect. I increased February by, um, by just a very small margin because of Valentine's Day and the possibility of some more ice cream. Uh, March, we're kind of starting to move into these um, warmer months. For March, I actually used the cumulative mean formula to calculate this, so I added 3,000 and 30 um, and 2,790 together and then I divided by two. Looking back on it, I don't think that that was a very good uh, formula to use here because we're only getting hotter and we're only getting into times of the year that are gonna produce more ice cream. So if I can go back and change that, I most likely would. Coming into April, it's getting much harder. We're bringing, and as I said, we're gonna have more tourists, people excited about rafting. Uh, we increased it by a slight margin. Same thing here in May. June, we're gonna jump up quite a bit. That's kind of a more um, heavy time for the rafting industry and the tourist industry up here. And like we mentioned, when we looked at the weather charts July, um, it gets ex exceedingly more hot August, uh, not, not any different, even gets a little higher. And then September, I included, uh, in September, we're 15,000. That's a huge jump from the year before at 10,000. But like I said, that's the time of the year when a lot of people are realizing I haven't been rafting at all this year. I need to get up to Lotus. I need to spend all my money in my bank account because Christmas doesn't suck enough away. And uh, so that's a big time of the year. And then it kind of tapers off near Christmas time, obviously, because it's cold, it's rainy, it's wet. People really don't want to come up to Lotus. Um, so obviously the pros of the methods that I talked about, the cumulative mean formula and the moving average formula, pros of those are obviously that it gives us a measurable and quantifiable um, value when creating forecasts. Cons are the obvious fact that it doesn't necessarily take into account factors such as people, weather, and other factors that we simply just can't um, think about or just can't put down on paper in some sort of concrete understanding. But in conclusion, with the increase in activities, the increase in weather, and more people coming up to Lotus, I would say that Sugar Rush ice cream can expect to sell more ice cream this year than it did, in, did, it did last year. Thank you.